Hello there and welcome to Soundbusters, the quiz show that makes sound all that much easier to hear. Today we have with us two very special contestants fighting for their right to stay on the lovely planet Earth. First of all, we have all the way from Planet Quag. She's fun, she's sexy, she's also a cyborg. Robo Girl. Robo Girl is here. I have no fear, because I am here to learn. Yes, you are Robo Girl, but not just yet. First, we'd like to know a little bit about you and why you think you deserve the right to stay here on planet Earth. Doctor Strange, your Earth money is worth one million times more than our Quark money. So I'm looking for a job to support my family back home. Sounds like a plan, Robo Girl. However, before you hand out your CV, let's take a look at our last contestant. She's big, she's scary, she's absolutely electrifying. Please welcome, it's Electro Chick. Electro Chick, Electro Chick, I came to learn a little bit. Wow. Electro Chick, you look great. <laughs> really great. So great. I hope you win. Oracle, why don't you tell us a bit about the first round? The first round of Sound Busters is. What's that pitch? Where the contestant simply has to guess whether the final note is higher or lower than the previous one. Yes, that's right. And Robo Go, we're going to start this round with you. What's that pitch? Hmm, I think that pitch is higher. Yes, that's right. The second note was higher. Did you guys get that right at home? Wow, Robo Girl, what's going on here? I'm making different pitches using glass bottles and water. Wow, that sounds interesting, but will it work? Pitch is measured by the frequency that a note vibrates. For example, a sound with a low pitch will vibrate slower than something with a higher pitch. Okay, Electro Chick, now on to you, but this time your task is going to be a little bit different. And we've made things a little bit trickier for you. We've made you a blindfold so that you can't see where the sounds are coming from. Oh my god, this is going to be a hard one. Where am I? Mm. You're to my right. Where am I? Um, I think you're to my left. Where am I? Hmm. I think you might be on the floor. Where am I? Um, I think you're somewhere up here. Congratulations, Electro Chick. You've got them all right. You really do know where that sound is. How did you know? Well, we can usually always tell where sound is by the position of our ears. When we hear something that's coming from our right, it will hit our right ear first, and our brain is able to tell us which ear receives the sound first. <clears throat> but I don't know how I was able to tell if the sounds were coming from above or below. I can answer that question. We can usually tell when a sound is coming from above or below, as our ears also do a good job at detecting the height of a sound. This height information is provided by a small amount of reflection of the back of the earlobe. Very good, Robo Girl. Now, unfortunately, we're reaching the end of our show and it's up to the Oracle to tell us a little bit about the last round. The final round is called Quick Fire. Each opponent must answer the question as quickly as possible before the time runs out. Now, Robo Girl, 
I'm going to need you to name one material that sound travels through that's slower than air. Yeah. I'm going to need more than that. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pass it over. And let's roll chick. Do you know the answer to that question? Yes, I do. Sound travels up to four times slower in water than it does through air. Correct. And let's roll chick. The scientific study of sound is known as? Is it acoustics? Correct again. Robo girl. Is it true or false that dogs can hear lower frequencies than humans? True. Unfortunately, it's false. Dogs can hear much higher frequencies than humans. Hey. Stop! I'm sorry, but that's the end of the game. The winner of today's show is Eric Chochik. You have demonstrated a great knowledge of sound and proved yourself worthy of the Sound Buster title. I now grant you permission to stay on this planet as for as long as you live. However, Robo Girl, I am afraid you are now banished from this planet forever and you will have to go back to Quag for good. Do you have any last words? I really wanted to be a sound buster and stay on planet Earth, but I was beaten fair and square. So I shall now return to my planet and to my poor family. Bye, Robo Girl. Scoop, a scoop, baba, doobie, a whoop, a whoop, 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 a scap, a dap, a dap, a doop.